Hey y'all, welcome back to the Nick Gates Show. I am your host, Nick Gates. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Today, we're bringing out the big dogs, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I hate to admit it. But I got weeds. Weed. 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 Day, we're gonna break out the big dogs. Everybody, look here what I got behind me. Look at that right there. Look at that right there, everybody. I'm gonna zoom in there just so you can get a good look at that. Get a good look at that right there. You know what that is right there? That is two, four, D amine, baby. Like I said, here's what we're gonna do. Now, that's not expensive. First time I've used it though. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just simply gonna mark off 10 by 10 area. So I'm gonna do an experiment with this. I'm gonna take a picture every day. We're gonna track it. We're gonna see how, how it does in the long run. But I'm gonna do a 10 by 10 area. I'm gonna mix this up. We're gonna spray it and I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'll put a link in the description. It's on Amazon, about, I don't know, 18, 20 bucks, something like that. Um, but we'll get to mixing it up and uh, we'll see how she does. All right, y'all. So, you gotta be careful with this stuff because you can only put so much in per gallon. So what I did, this is just a, a cap I have uh, left over for some, from Roundup. Uh, and the instructions on this 2,4-D amine, it says to put about two to three tablespoons uh, per gallon of water, basically. A tablespoon is about a half an ounce. So I've got one and a half ounces here in my cup. And it says to put your pump sprayer, fill it up about halfway. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. I'm going to agitate that, a.k.a. shake it up. And then, after we do that, fill the sprayer up uh, the rest of the way. And this Dawn, if you just Google uh, surfactant, the instructions for this 2,4-D amine calls for a surfactant as well. And all that is is something that goes down in your mixture just helps it cover the weeds or the leaves on the weed um again first time i've done it you just google it and uh, you can find other like household uh surfactants in there uh, dish detergent just came up as one so i'm going to put about another tablespoon or so in that shake it up and we'll go out take a look at our 10 by 10 area and go from there catch y'all in a bit okay y'all here's what i did just marked off a 10 by 10 area, just got some spray paint and take this. You see all this crap? I said, I'm pretty disappointed. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this right here in this area, just spot treat. And on the instructions of the 2,4 DMEN, it's all different types of applications. Um, one in particular for uh, spot treating it. And so that's the instructions I followed. That's what I got over there in that pump sprayer. So um, give me just a sec. We're gonna shake that up and we'll spray it down. Okay, y'all, like I said, this is just for spot treatment. So, we're just gonna go around here. Just lightly spray them there. And like I said, I'm gonna take a picture about every day just so we can monitor our progress, see if this stuff's worth the money. However, I will say that growing up, I always heard, if you got a fertilizer, it's got that 2,4-D in there, that is what is gonna kill the wheat. I got some high expectations, y'all. And to be honest, I can't wait to be on about the fifth and then the 10th day, so I can share the results with y'all. Because to be honest, before I discovered this, I didn't even know it existed. 
to where you could just buy the 24D. So, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. That is it. Well, good luck. And uh, we'll catch y'all in a couple weeks. I'll show you the progress. Hey, y'all. Nick Gates, Nick Gates Show. I want to show you. We had to flash forward a few days. We had, um, trying to take a video out here at the same time every day. Um, we had a bunch of rain, sporadic rain pop up. I wasn't able to do that. So this is the first chance I got actually after uh, day two or three actually to come out here and look at the results. I'm going to zoom in here, but you can see this is day five actually. I'm going to go right here. This is after spraying that 2,4 D amine. So you can see they're starting to yellow up pretty good there. I'm gonna walk all around so y'all can take a look, make your own determination whether you want to use the product. And I will say I'm actually pretty happy with what it's doing. Um, I did notice on about day three is when I started noticing it yelling and uh, yellowing up. So that indicates to me that it's starting to die and wilt up. So far, like I said, I am happy. And um, you can see, yeah, it's starting to yellow up. I think I'm gonna be happy with that. I'll probably continue to use it. Now I didn't use this on, this is on Bermuda grass. Um, See, so I'll do what you want. I just want to show you the results I've had. You make your own decisions whether to use this product or not. But I will put a link in the description. It's been about five total days, so not quite a full week yet. Um, but so far, I am happy. And uh, once it starts dying off a little bit more, I'm probably going to mow this and uh, I'll probably take a, an end result photo or a short video just to show you what it looks like. All right, y'all. Catch y'all later. Okay, y'all. This is about the two and a half week mark. And there are a few, what seems to be just little bare spots. That's where uh, a bulk of the weeds were that I sprayed. And um, left a little bit of bare spot there, which hey, I'm fine with because I know this Bermuda grass is gonna um, it's gonna spread, it's gonna fill in pretty quick, actually. But I'll tell you what, guys, this 2,4 D amine, with about two and a half weeks worth, um, I might give this a spray over my entire yard. So I will say I am actually impressed. Um, I'm I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a rating. I'm gonna give it five stars, y'all. I don't give much five star ratings, but like I said, two and a half weeks worth. And uh, I'll post a before and after pic just so you can, you can see for yourself. But all I did was mix uh, an ounce and a half um, to a one gallon pump sprayer with about a teaspoon of some Dawn as a uh, surfactant and just spot spray. And so two and a half weeks later, this is what we got. So I am happy, five stars. Nick Gates Show, y'all. This is Nick Gates. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. See y'all next time.